Lucas Costa. Eh? You need to have speed, technique, flair, and a deadly cross. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the art of being a world-class winner. And today, I'm gonna do my best to help how you can become the next Sideline Miracle. And speaking of the best, you can ask yourself, is CR7 a winger? Is Messi a winger? Neymar? Mbappe? Well, probably not typical wingers, but if we look at the starting lineups before a match, all of these four players are usually played in what you'd call a wing position. What about Douglas Costa or Perisic, Sancho, Sané or even Dembele? Are they the true wingers out there? Well, the way I see it is that there are many ways to play as a winger. You can have guys whose base position is out on the wing, but who likes to change position a lot and especially move into the box when the opportunity arises. And then on the other hand, you have the more classical, old school type winger who likes to hug the sideline, really stay wide to create a lot of width. And of course, all of this is based on your team style of play and even more importantly, how your coach wants to use you. But no matter which type of winger you consider yourself to be, there are some basic attributes that are great to have in your locker. The first thing you need is obviously a good amount of pace. Now, I'm not talking about using bolt levels of speed running 40 kilometers an hour pace, but rather really have a very strong acceleration and then a good top speed. Because seeing that, you usually don't run more than 30 to 40 meters tops at a time. The first couple of meters needs to be really, really powerful. Secondly, you need to be able to create something on your own. Therefore, it's important not to be afraid of asking questions of the defenders. So try to always look for that 1v1 situation so you can set up a teammate or finish the attack on your own. Thirdly, you need to be able to whip in a good cross because having that ability is gonna give you and your team a huge advantage because a good cross can create so many dangerous situations. You might ask yourself this, if I don't have any of these three attributes, can I then still become a top class winger? And the very simple and easy answer to that question would be no. The more diplomatic and probably also more correct answer would be that you can be anything and everything that you put your mind to. If you tick all the boxes so far, there are still a lot of things you can do to improve. Go to the pitch and start whipping in some crosses, trying to hit a predetermined area in the box. And try to do it while running, because this is going to give you the most realistic match situation possible. Push yourself and push your confidence. It's super easy to simply just pass the ball back to a teammate right away. So when you practice with your team, try to put yourself in situations that are out of your comfort zone. But it's also important to keep some sort of a balance because genius is something that has to arise in the moment. It's not something you can plan ahead or force through. Make it a habit to get inside the box if you can see it's gonna create some space. Because playing an anonymous game won't get you anywhere. And even if you won't get the ball, you'll help creating space for your team. Finally, you need to get in shape. If your condition is top of the line, it's gonna help you tremendously. So if you have the willingness to run more than the others and the surplus to put in a bit of extra fight, no one is gonna blame you if you sometimes lose the ball. So there you have them, my friends, some tips on how to improve as a winger, both the classic and the more modern type. But which position should we look into next? Well, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. What you should also do is go and secure yourself a pair of the Nike Fully Charged Boots from our website if you click the link right over there. You can also go and learn some really cool skills if you click the playlist right down there. And then don't forget to go and support us in our journey towards 2 million subscribers by clicking the button right over there with the notifications on. Well, that's it, guys. I'm signing off. Cheerio.